Gentlemen, welcome to Friendship Shaving for an Italian shave adventure today. I have my Don Jose soap by Abata Ilamantia, and this is made in Torino, Italy by Chiong Fung Sink. And it is a nice soft soap, very easy to spread in a bowl for bowl lathering. That is exactly what I've done today. It smells beautiful, lightly mentholated. It's a fabulous scent of coconut and bananas. Really beautiful soap. It keeps very well. I've had this for years now and it keeps well. So I have my brush today with some lather on it. Got my uh, bowl there. I'm using the Omega Evo brush and it is the Evo 2 fibre. So um, today I'm starting my shape by using some Parasso White pre-shape and I'm following a tip from Matt Pasasic of Razor Emporium. And uh, Matt suggested on the Shave Dad Facebook group that one puts your pre-shave on 15 minutes before the start of the shave as it improves the whole procedure. All the oils sink into your skin and therefore don't clog up the blade. I thought it was good advice and I thought I'd try it today. The razor I've got today is a straight razor and it is a beautiful JJ Shorty in a turquoise scale, very, very nicely done. And these razors are used in the Cella Training School for Barbers. Um, fantastic and it is a lovely razor with a nice short blade. So there we go, that's the razor today. And I've got some Parasso Green to finish off with. Shall we get going guys? I've talked long enough without any action. What I did today was, I put the soap in my bowl and I added water while I was waiting for the pre-shave to sink in and do its work and I just let that water sit on the soap for about five minutes and I took my mostly dry brush I had soaked it beforehand and I squeezed and shook all the water out of it and took that to the bowl and um, it lathered up very easily I had to have add ooh, excuse me another teaspoon of water as we went along and actually Looking at this lather now, it's come out fantastically well and I'm just going to add a drop of water to my brush and smooth this out a little bit. And that drop of cold water is just activating the menthol in the soap. And guys, it's fantastic. Do you know what, fellas? I'm starting to use this brush more and more. When I first used it, I thought it had quite a lot of backbone. As I'm using it now more and more, I've used it about, I've only used it about four times, but I think it was used before I got it from my friend Mike 
Hand down. It wasn't used very much, but it's turning into a really nice brush. I am liking it more and more. Fantastic. I could do that for hours, guys. It's so nice. Such a nice feeling. That bit of pampering. Got my tissue paper over here just to wipe the razor on. Got my towel. Now I'm just going to put a drop of water on my blade and we will start shaving. It's uh, been a little while since I used my since I used one of my straight razors. Um, so yes, there we are, just got the right angle there, it took a moment or two. Fantastic already, really liking this shave. I really do like this razor. Um, it's it's just a very nice size. It's quite weighty despite the short size because it is fashioned from a Chinese gold dollar by John uh, and made into this quite lovely razor. I love the scales, love that colouring, but up here. Can you see that pin? There's no head on the pin. He's obviously glued and sanded that off so that it's a really smooth finish on that. Guys, when I'm in the shave den, normally, um, if I cut myself there, no, just a mark on the skin. Um, I have a little mirror on the windowsill, as well as using the display from my little six-inch tablet here. Um, I didn't realise how much I used that little mirror, and I have another one on the wall that I sometimes take a glance into. It is a little bit more of a challenge today, shaving with the straight razor, just using the display from the tablet. Now, getting a little bit soapy, so I'll just put that down for a moment and wipe my fingers with a wet flannel. There we go. Open that up and wipe the blade so get some moisture back on the blade. And we'll get back in. I'm 
shaving guys with about a week's worth of growth. And if you try that with a straight razor, it just comes off really, really easily. Even if you had a beard, the straight razor would take it straight off. But I would say that if the razor is not sharp and you're shaving with a, a week's worth of growth, you will certainly feel it. Of course that is perhaps stating the obvious, it is the same with any razor of course, but uh, I find it especially so with a straight as it takes a little more effort to get the blade sharp. I was wondering, do you use one of those shaving mirrors that is magnified to shave with? And how do you find that? Um, mine is a double sided one, and I've had it for years, guys. It's a bit knackered now, and the plane's coming off on the stand, and this, that, and the other. Um, but I because I have the double sided one, I just use the side that has the normal mirror. I seem to find it more difficult to use the, the magnified side of the mirror. So uh, just wondered what you found. Guys, I tell you what, this brush is, it's, it's going to be fantastic. It's, it's going to be one of my favourites, I can tell you. Spreading really nicely. I know some of you guys feel that the... Uh, Omega Evo is a little has a little bit too much backbone for you, but I'm finding this one is really suiting me. And what I like about it is just starting to splay really easily. Fantastic brush for me, and it has surprised me. I had read a lot about this and um, I did think it would have too much backbone for myself but I've been proven wrong so there we go just worth using a brush a fair bit before you make a judgment perhaps Now, second pass, I've got a really slippy thumb, which is not something you want with a straight razor. Gonna go against the grain here on the neck. I was looking my pattern of growth earlier and uh, 
Once I get set up, after the decorators have been, I'll do a video on that, see if I can do a close-up. But I am quite lucky. In that I don't seem to have any walls of growth or any difficult growth patterns. My hair, I'll just demonstrate here, basically grows in this direction all the way down. As I get to my jawline and go over, it's still going in that direction. But it just starts slightly to turn and then it continues down at that angle and when I get right to the bottom here it starts to turn from a vertical into the horizontal right at the bottom of my growth um, over my top lip My moustache basically grows in the same direction as the hair on the side of my face and the bits at the corner of my mouth, they appear to do that but if I stretch my mouth I can see that they turn and grow straight down. Um, so really I have a few bits here that just one or two hairs that turn outwards other than that, very lucky, don't have complicated or difficult growth or super thick hair or anything like that. But if you've not taken note of your hair growth already, it's perhaps worth looking at. It is something that I read about when I first started shaving in a more traditional way. I didn't kind of pay it much attention. I think partially because my shaves weren't that difficult. I always like to come in from the sides on my moustache. I can't shave upwards, what do they call it? A fool's pass or some such thing. Um, yeah, I would definitely cut my nose, I feel. Um, and apart from that, I have tried it. I have actually tried it just on the sides. I find it to be incredibly uncomfortable. I think it's one of those areas that I've got where my growth is perhaps thickest and my skin is obviously softest. And it does cause me a little bit of discomfort so In your shaves, gentlemen, I always feel that comfort is king. Um, it's perhaps an old adage, but 
one that I like to hold to because I feel his shave should be enjoyable. There we go, we will just dry that razor. And I shall take that and strop that later on. Put that there. It's a beautiful razor to use, guys. Very nice. Got my uh, tissue there. Oh, and there we go, guys. That feels fantastic because the water on this flannel is now cold. It feels great. That was a very enjoyable shave, guys. And I'm just going to take my Parasso Green. Now, I have a large 400ml jar of this. And... Uh, I took it out the other day and the thread on the cap as I unscrewed it fell apart. So uh, it's going to have a little bit of plastic and a rubber band put over that. But this is lovely, lovely aftershave as many of you know. That is my Italian shave. What are you going to shave with today? Thank you very much for joining me. Do take care of yourselves. And I will see you next time around. All the very best now. Bye bye.